In the summer of 1987, a group of kids decided to spend the night in an abandoned house, unaware that their excitement would soon turn into sheer terror. What they encountered would forever change their perception of the paranormal. Hello, hello, I'm Arudai and welcome to Moonskull. If you're looking for tales of horror, the paranormal sci-fi, and the unexplained, then you are in the right place. I'll tell you 5,000 wonderful fear addicts as well as the 30% of you closet horror buffs who have still not subscribed yet, the story I just mentioned. But first, let me show you how you can best show us your support. If you enjoy our spine-tingling tales and want to keep the nightmares coming, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. You can also support us by using the donation link on the screen which can be found in the description of the video. Now, let's dive into Harry's chilling experience. One hot summer day in 1987, young Harry and his best friend were filled with adventurous spirit and a desire for a little thrill. They decided to spend the night in Harry's grandpa's old house, a creaky structure that sat 50 yards from their own home. The house had long been abandoned, shrouded in mystery with no electricity to speak of. Harry's parents hesitated at first, but eventually agreed to let them go, an invitation to an eerie adventure. As the sun began to set, Harry, his friend, his younger brother, and his older cousin gathered at the old house. To power the radio, they ran an extension cord from the main house, illuminating the dusty rooms with music and laughter. But soon, the atmosphere shifted, an unsettling feeling crept in. Harry was sitting on the worn sofa, chatting with his friend when she suddenly stood up, her expression shifting from playful to alarmed. Wait here, she said, before walking towards the back room. Seconds later, she bolted out of the house, terror etched across her face. Someone's in the house, she screamed. The room went cold as Harry felt a chill run down his spine. Without skipping a beat, he and the others raced after her, hearts pounding in unison. Outside, the group huddled together, their eyes wide with fear. They peppered her with questions, desperate to understand what had happened. She recounted her story, a small hand reaching out into the middle of the bedroom, as if trying to grasp something just beyond its reach. Harry's heart raced as they all stood in front of the open door, peering into the darkness of the house. But there was nothing there. Driven by curiosity and adrenaline, they moved towards the side door for a better view. To their horror, they noticed the bathroom door was closed, and the light inside was on. Remember, there was no power to the house. The only light came from the extension cord. Harry's stomach dropped, and they quickly decided it was best to fetch his dad. When Harry's father arrived, he scoured the house, but found nothing. His reassurances felt hollow as they left the old place behind. For the rest of the day, they played outside, but an unease hung in the air. Suddenly, the radio began to play a single haunting song over and over again, as if the very atmosphere was mocking their fear. Finally, they unplugged it, but the haunting feeling lingered. Later, while playing kickball, the ball ended up in the neighbor's yard. Harry's younger brother went to retrieve it, but when he walked back, he yelled that someone was looking at them from the bathroom window. Harry thought it was a prank, but as he looked, he was frozen by what he saw. A pale girl with short, cropped black hair staring right back at him. Horrified, they ran home, trying to explain the encounter, but their parents were skeptical. Harry described the girl in detail, and when his father showed him an old family photo of his grandmother, he felt a chill run down his spine. Was this who you saw? His father asked. Harry nodded, recognition dawning upon him. The realization hit hard. His grandmother's funeral had been held in that very house. A few months later, Hurricane Andrew ravaged the Gulf Coast, and the old house was torn down due to extensive damage. The remnants of Harry's childhood hauntings were lost to the winds, but he never returned to that spot again. The image of that girl in the window stayed with him, a chilling reminder that some places hold more than just memories. They hold spirits longing to be seen. And there you have it, folks. A haunting tale of a seemingly ordinary summer adventure that spiraled into an encounter with the unknown. What do you think happened to Harry and his friends? Was it merely a trick of the mind, or was something more paranormal at play? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want more of this kind of wild paranormal real-life madness, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe, because we've got plenty more where that came from. 
I'm Arudai, and until next time, stay curious, stay cautious, and remember, sometimes the scariest things are the ones we can't explain.